What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the Bianconeri Zone and welcome back to almost a deadline day uh, but the day that actually things need to happen, you, know? you, need to ha you need to make moves happen or like it needs to be basically agreed on and players being at the facilities because tomorrow it's kind of dodgy to wait until tomorrow to get certain deals done, especially complicated deals. However, the Sancho deal is not that complicated actually, but not just Sancho. We still have Kostic, we still have Arthur at the club, De Chilio out of his way, out of the way, excuse me, Keza on the move as well. So that's what we're going to talk about. But before we do that, as always, smash the like button and subscribe to the channel. And let's talk about, you know, almost that line day. Okay, so Jaden Sancho. Um, the story is a story right now. The story is it's up to him. I know the reports are saying that Manu won this and it's up to him. It's, it's basically as simple as that. Again, I'm recording this in the morning because I'm off to work. So if an update happens that kind of puts my, my comments right now in dispute, uh, apologies. But I don't think so. Because right now the situation is the same. The situation is what it was a couple of days ago is that we want a loan with an option. According to Di Marzo, we offered, let's say, 8 million euros for the loan, and we want Manu to pay part of the wages. Manu want an obligation and do not want to pay part of the complete wages. You know, some say none at all. Some want to say part of the wages. That's the situation. Chelsea are looking to move on Sterling, and if they can do so, then yeah, they will take on Sancho, but it's more for them to move out Sterling. The player is at play. He needs to make that decision. It's as simple as that. With two days left, almost like less than two days left it's Sancho who decides right now because if he's like I don't want to I don't want to move to Chelsea you better make that deal happen with Juve or I'm just going to stick around then what or he turns around and he's like I want to move to Chelsea forget about Juve let's figure it out with Chelsea basically but the issue is that man you are not jumping of joy to bring in Sterling and his wages on that age that's kind of the issue so Again, it's up to Jaden Sancho. The reports are suggesting that he's openly willing to join Juve. It's just that Manu is not convinced about, you know, the <clears throat> the structure of the deal. However, right now, there is no time to actually moan about or like just sit there and, and soak being Manu and be like, oh, we want an obligation. It's two days left. It's two days left. You know, if you don't want Ryan Sterling as well, and Chelsea only want to do that deal, if you include Ryan Sterling in that deal, then... <clears throat> There's only one option, and that option is finding a solution with Juve right now. That's that. But Sancho is a key. He needs to push for it. He's the only way this deal will get unlocked in a, in a matter of minutes, you know, basically, or hours, if you want to call it. Uh, and that's still the way, you know. Yes, he can be open to the move, but there's a difference to being open and actually pushing. Open is... <clears throat> Toribo was open to the Juve move. Pushing is Colt Miners was pushing. You know, if you watch the videos of Colt Miners and actually the players in the locker room and Mota, they were like, "Oh my God, this was one hell of a saga." But if like everybody felt relief because they knew he, that guy was pushing. That's what needs to happen if you want to get that deal over the line. Other than that, there are no real updates. We can talk about loan, option, obligation, money, and it it depends on Jaden Sancho. If he's like no or yes, then it's yes or no. But that's something that will that will be done, you know, or done yes or no today. It should be done yes or no today. So that's that. Other news: Kesa gone for around fifty million. Let's let's call it fifty million, including bonuses. We knew that was going to be the price tag for a couple of weeks now. We knew Kesa was uh, out here. I know you guys wanted to win a jersey. I was giving away if he signed. Uh, a short-term deal. I always said that was absolutely never going to happen. Like there was absolutely no possible way that Chiesa one is going to sign a new deal because we did not offer that new deal we made it clear he doesn't need to be here and we we, we named it we said Chiesa did, does not want to be doesn't need shouldn't be here should go out there and play there was no chance that was Chiesa was going to say like there was no chance he was going to join Barcelona I've said it you know and people in the comments are like why do you need to talk about Chiesa to Barcelona because it was fake news there was nothing close with Barcelona and Chiesa Barcelona are in a shitty situation you know, how was Chiesa close? 
it was just Chiesa hoping he could have gone to Barcelona because that was his dream, but he ended up joining Liverpool, you know, and for him, I hope he revives his career, I have nothing against him, it's just the way it went with the injury, it kind of set him back, uh, set us back, and w with the club situation, it is what it is, I feel sorry for the way it went, you know, because after the Euros, everybody was like, oh my god, this is it, it's gonna take off, and then the injury happened, so for him, I hope he goes out there, he smashes this, I hope he can revive his career, I hope he does fantastic stuff, you know, no grudges, because I actually like Chiesa a lot, uh, and it's, it's just sad the way it ends, because in an ideal world, he will be here and he will be one of the key players smashing it for us, you know, and being vital. But something happened between him and the club that will come out and we will discuss that. But it's not just about money and so on, so on, you know. Um, so I feel I feel for the situation, but I, I think me personally already made my peace with it, you know, months ago. Um, and most of you as well. It's just, yeah, you, nobody expected it to end. That, is, that it was going to end like this, you know, especially after the Euros. Uh, and even after that injury, everyone was like, it will come good. It will come back, you know. And he came back fitness-wise. But, you know, it, the, the the real kids, I never came back again. And it is what it is, you know. It's sad, but I, I, again, I wish him all the best. And um, we need to move on and he needs to move on uh, as well. Uh, we just need to make uh, our, uh, our peace with that, you know. Then... De Chilio, finally gone uh, to Empoli, uh, signs a one-year deal, has an option, we're probably paying him off, I don't care, you know, get rid, these players need to get rid, and you just get rid, you know, so I'm happy that's done, Diallo, potentially you could stay, because there are no real suitors, uh, there are some offers he's not really jumping for, uh, it was close to Roma apparently, now it's completely off, so Di Marzo saying, actually you can stay, because Thiago Mota needs option, but he, options, but he asked for a move, so I'm not really sure how much you can count on those players. And he has every right to ask for a move, by the way. I don't think it's a good situation if he ends up saying, you know, and you can say we're short at the, at the, at the back, I get it, but if the player wants out and you told him to leave, uh, I don't see a way back. The same went for McKenny. I don't feel that vibe. I just... I think for both sakes, you know, for both parts, I think Diallo should be leaving, you know. Uh, then you have Arthur. No offers, just Pauk. Uh, definitely, he's not saying Pauk. And, oh my God, Pauk. We're paying the full wages if he goes to Pauk, you know. Uh, again, his career, insane. His wages, insane. It's just need to hope that, you know, Fiorentina come knocking and be like, we'll take him on loan again and we'll pay part of the wages. That's kind of the hope right now. Like with Kostic, you're close to Fiorentina. The fans said no, you know, put out a banner and Fiorentina was like, okay, no Kostic. And now Kostic has offers from the Saudi League. He doesn't want to... Uh, commit to he has Southampton he's not convinced to he still thinks he might be ending up staying like he's not gonna play it's just a problem in terms of wages for the clubs on the books you know so these guys need to find a solution and just need to hope Junta finds a way finds a way out for these guys and for him as well uh, but right now it's still up in the air for these type of players you know but that's it again Sancho pre-recorded this in the morning so it could be completely off it could be completely done but it all depends on Jaden Sancho right now. Or Chelsea saying, or Raheem Sterling waking up and saying, uh, I cut my, my wages in half. And Chelsea's like, uh, we will pay you a bit money as well for Jaden Sancho. Other than that, it's Jaden Sancho or bus. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Like the video, subscribe, and I will speak to you guys very soon. Actually, later tonight for a, a live show to talk about the Champions League fixtures. Ciao.